Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today we're gonna go over Pegasus, or Pegasus. I got this accent, I never get it right. Uh, W664P-01G, uh, that's the type, and I'm gonna go over this, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you what all this means. So this is a cylinder bed, I'm gonna open this up for you guys, so you could, I'm sure you've seen many videos that we do. So this is a cylinder bed, Pegasus cover stitch. Three needle, five thread, top and bottom. The difference between this machine and any regular machine is that this is fully automated. So it's automatic. Look at this. Foot lifter um, with auto trimming. Beautiful machine, it's cylinder bed, but this customer that we're delivering this machine to requested a fully submerged. So this is what fully submerged means. It means that you have this machine, that we have the table that we made for, but it's flat bed by now. Obviously, the machine is not flat bed. We just made it to flat bed because the customer has both use for it. He wants to use it as a cylinder bed but there is an option for us to make the table the way it is so the machine would sit inside the table and you could use that both ways. There is a plus and minus for it. The plus is that you could actually use for larger garment, you could really use as a flat bed, but for if you need to use cylinder bed. A lot of people prefer to be sitting tabletop, okay, like on the top of the table. Um, but it's, it's all preferences, what do you need? It doesn't matter. So again, very nice and easy looking sewing machine made by Pegasus. Uh, this machine should be made in Japan. Um, they always have two options on their machine. There's one that is made in Japan, one is made in China. This one happened to be made in Japan. It, Direct drive, meaning that the uh, motor is right here. This is the motor, and it's servo, and it's quiet. As a matter of fact, the machine is on right now. You cannot even hear. The control panel, everything is Pegasus. This is the control panel. This is what um, makes the motor go slow, fast. Needle positioning system that I will show you in a minute what it will do. Uh, this is the 6.4 millimeter. 6.4 millimeter is quarter inch gauge. So you could use, if you come here and we look at this, again, I show this, long, I mean, you have three needles now working. You could take the middle needle out and you have two needles between the far right and far left thread, there is quarter inch gauge. And between each of those, there is one eighth. Meaning you have one eighth to the right, one eighth to the left. And then if you take the needle out from the middle, you're gonna have quarter inch. Now, you see the top? You, that's the top spreading, we call it a spreading thread. But the fifth thread on top, you could cut this and you don't have that. So this is the top and bottom chain stitch or cover stitch. This is the back, this front. Uh, we tried the machine on a regular cotton fabric, not really spandexy, but I brought a very spandexy, beautiful. I tried to get a colorful one. I mean, not a colorful one, a solid color to show you the thread, but this is what we have. This is very spandexy. This is the hardest stuff that to use. And a lot of people use this machine for that type of stuff. When you get the machine, it comes with a bottle of oil. Um, the proof of machine working, serial numbers, uh, a booklet, uh, needle, and I'm gonna tell you, uh, the needle is 128 system U, Y-128 GAS, and what comes to the machine is a 10. I think that 10, right? My eyes, come on, yes. Mm -hmm. That's 10. The 10 is a lower size, so you could obviously go high, I mean, you get tweezers and get this uh, needle set screwdriver to open up the needle, take out the needle. Uh, 10, 9, even 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, Cover it is uh, dust cover. Uh, that's all it, it is. Um, a lot of people are gonna ask you a question if when they buy the machine, 
can they attach a folder? Definitely. There is two screws here that could attach a folder to do the bias folding. And we sell those stuff on our website. Um, when you get the oil, when you get the machine, open, pop this open, pour all the oil in there, shut it down. Do not put any oil here. This is not for the oil. This is for silicone oil, or what we call a thread, um, um, thread, um, hmm, why do I forget things? Um, there is a silicone oil um, that you could buy, but Dritz sells, um, uh, um, I'm gonna remember the name. The liquid, one ounce, you could put in there, it's gonna help the cell go faster and without stopping. And the machine comes with the table, the table is 47 by 21. Everything that you see here is included. Either you buy it assembled or unassembled. Everything is included. Uh, the threading, the most, there you go. This is the inside. Look at the inside. When you have the oil, when you pour the oil here, this is the gauge that shows you uh, where the oil is gonna be, okay? So underneath here, you don't have anything, but this is the control panel, and obviously uh, the computer system here. You have that, uh, what we call the food lifter um, switch. So you could sew the machine when you're sewing, and bunch of thread, I mean, bunch of wires. Um, and the booklet that comes with the machine would show you how to set up the thread. Obviously, I always tell people that when you buy them, when you get the machine, if these are not the, we don't, we're not gonna take the thread out. We're gonna ship it the way it is. But obviously, when you get the machine, you want to change the color of the thread. Do not take all the thread out. Cut the thread right here and tie the new thread and run it through, just pull it through. Um, this is the ten. This is a uh, plus and minus for a tension on a thread. I'm not gonna touch it. I will not touch any of these things because this machine is set up. But again, you get a booklet and the booklet will tell you how it's done. Again, it's a cylinder bed um, and it's used for activer, bottom of pants, bottom of sleeve, then you wanna sew small, tiny stuff. All right, so here we go. Let me close this door right here. And again, this is the full, fully automated ones. So, so when you press, back press, the foot will go up. You get about one eighth, one eighth of an inch. You could adjust the foot and I'm gonna show. Quiet, how is the lighting, you see? When you stop, I, done. It didn't do full the other one, but I'm gonna do one more time. I gotta see why the yellow one is not cut, the red one is not cutting, but you get the idea. This is the back, I stopped here and I cut. I sewed this much, I stopped, I sewed again and I stopped. So now, this is the easy stuff. If you see, can I have that silicone spray right there? I'm gonna show you what we use here. There is an item called silicone spray, spray way makes it, okay? I don't know if it has anything. This makes, it doesn't hurt your product, it doesn't help your garment, it doesn't hurt your thread. You could, I, whenever you see, you feel that the thread is not going to, you have some problem, just go ahead and, see like right now, I see it's not cutting one thread. I'm not gonna go call my mechanic right away or get, I'm just gonna go ahead and, it just helps the thread move faster and easier. Okay, now, these are the really hard stuff to sew, and I'm gonna use the back of the fabric because the front is colorful and you cannot really see it. 
and I can't see it. Here you go. By the way, we have a bunch of folders and stuff for this machine. Just go ahead, put, put it through, you see right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not a good sewer. Yeah. For some reason, it's not cutting the green one. I gotta see why. It could be, maybe I have to. Now, whenever you feel, whenever you feel that you need to loosen the tension, or when you pull, you see it's breaking the thread. Right now it's perfect, you see? Even though this is elastic -y, you could always play with this thing, turn it. And make sure, like right now the green one is giving me a problem. I think it's too loose. These are the things that I think, I might, I might be wrong, but Gonna try it one more time. We have our mechanic here today, so. All right. That remedy didn't work. But overall, you know what I'm saying. Look at this beautiful stitching. This is the front and this is the back. This is the way I did it. It always helps. I really think that this machine needs to be adjusted on the thread, it's very loose. But overall, this is the idea. A lot of people don't like to, oh, by the way, I talked about needle positioning system. See, whenever I sew, one of the things that you should see that when I sew and I stop, the needle stays up. So you don't have to play with this um, wheel to bring the, that's called in the position. And then you just back pedal and then we'll cut. But I have to see why this is not cutting this one. You get the idea, beautiful machine. Uh, again, people with uh, spandex, with, with active work, with, um, um, Yoga use a lot of this machine. Um, and this is a stitch aid. That's what I was looking for. Brit has a one ounce container of stuff called stitch aid. You pull that in here and it gets soaked and the thread is much easier and much faster. This is, by the way, is a needle guard and the rest is here. I'm gonna show you one more time. Everything, and I'm gonna spray it one more time before I ask my mechanic to come because that remedy works all the time. Take it whenever you receive a machine and you think there is a problem, random machine should not have any problem. If you see the thread is a stitching, I mean, the stitch is um, not good, or like in our case, that one of the threads is not cutting, don't get frustrated. There is a problem right here with a stitch, with the way the thread is coming down. Like this one, you see. Right here, we did it wrong. If you could show Lindsay, it should really come through one of these thread guides right here, and we missed it. We have to fix that one. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you see like you have two holes. A lot of people run them through the two holes. And up here, you have two holes. You have one coming in, and this makes a lot of difference. These are the things that make, give the machine the, um, the, um, the way that it should really work. So work on all those thread guides, the way you run the thread, and it's gonna be A, 100 press friend. okay? Let me just show how the thread guide works here. If you could come here, and there is a knife in here. This is a low knife, there is a knife that's called stationary, and there is a moving knife, this is a moving knife, and there is one that is sitting down there. When you sew, and I'm not gonna sew a lot, when you stop, I go back, boom, 
goes in there and cuts and come back. Okay, this is from Dave, this is David from Gold Star Tool. Thank you for watching this and short back. See how beautiful this is. This is the food lifter. See? This one makes the food go up and down. These are all electrical, no air by the way. And this is um, the thread cutter. See that one? I'm gonna go inside here to the left. That's the one. Beautiful sewing machine from Pegasus. Did I say it right? Pegasus. Japanese. Beautiful stuff. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.